Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas Yes. Oh, let's start. Let's start. Wait, hold on. Okay. This is Trinity College London ISC1, Achiever B1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? And my full name is Ajahar Islam. What's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic title is fam My Family. What are your four topic points? Uh, so my four topic, so my first topic is eating, uh, out, eat, eating out with my family, uh, watch TV with my family, and shopping with, with my family, and traveling with my family. Would you repeat yourself with more confidence, okay? Eating out with family, traveling with family, and what was the next one? At, next one is shopping with my... Family and... Family. And uh, poor topic is so eating out with my family and watch TV with my family and watching shopping TV. with my family. Watching TV with family, shopping with family, traveling with family. Once again, I will ask you, what's your topic's title for today? Uh, my topic uh, title is my family. Hmm. Okay, what are your four topic points? Yeah, uh, My four topic uh, points are eating out with my family is first and second topic is uh, watching TV with my family and third topic is uh, shopping with my family and fourth topic is uh, traveling with my family. Ajar, because examiner will say what are your four topic points? So you will say my first topic point is eating out with family. My second topic point is because examiner uses the word topic point. Okay, okay. Once again, what are your four topic points? Uh, my fourth, uh, uh, my fourth topic point is uh, eating out with my family, and my uh, the, another topic is uh, watching TV with my family, and. and Ajay, Ajay, listen, shop. listen. This is not good. You need to get it perfect. Like for example, when examiner will ask you, "What's your topic's title for today?" This is the first question. What's your topic's title? Title for today. All right, that's one. All right. Then you say yes. my topic's title is my topics. My topic's title is title is what's your topic's uh, title? My family. My then you then you family. say then then examiner will ask you what are your four topic points? What are your four topic points? Four topic Point. points. Topic points. So how will you answer? You will say my four topic points are my four, four topic. topic, topic. Are. Points points are after this you say eating out with family, traveling with family, watching TV with family, shopping with family, and eating out, eating out, out with my family. family. Do you understand? Watching so you you have to say it like this. No okay. Okay, this okay. What are your four topic points? And um, my my four topic are uh, my four topic points are eating out with my family and watching TV with my family and uh, shopping with my family and traveling with my family. That's and it. and use just one time, okay? Use commas like, uh, what are your four topic points? My four topic points are eating out with family, traveling with family, watching TV with family, and shopping with family. Just like this. Last time. And okay, that's fine. No putting and in other sentences, but like, hmm. say it again. What are your four topic points? Uh, my four topic point are eating out with family and watching TV with family, shopping uh, with family and traveling with family. Good job. Thank you. Now I'll ask you some questions. Could you please tell me where do you like to go shopping with your family? I uh, I like uh, to go outside in our city shopping mall in in Puran Bajar. Uh, 
and I like uh, to do some shopping with my uh, father and uh, some wa one watch and I like um, my mother one uh, silver camis and uh, I like one buy something my sister like some dress and that's it. Okay, could you share an experience when you recently bought something for your family? Sorry, say again. Uh, could you mention? Uh, could you tell me about an experience when you recently bought something for your family? Bought something for your family. And um, recently bought by my family, like I, I bought one TV with my family recently. Okay, all right, that's nice. Okay. Uh, could you please tell me about a place where you like to travel with your family? Uh, I like to travel with my family. Like, yeah, it's near my house. It's a one shop, one museum, and a one shop, a park. Uh, park. Can you explain how to I do this traveling? Apologies, come again. Uh, can you explain me how to I show this? Uh, topic, can you tell traveling? me? Like, yeah, traveling. Like, where do you like to travel with your family? I like to travel to different uh, places, like maybe France, maybe Italy. I like to travel to my home country with my family. Yeah, that's right. No, I like to travel uh, travel with my family. It's near one uh, beach area, and I, I like to travel with my family. Uh, one museum, one uh, and park, and some uh, uh, visiting area in our district. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, do you prefer to travel? by your own car or by public transport when you travel with your family? No, I prefer uh, my own car because it's too easy. Um, our public transport is always busy. That, that's why my family is disturbing. Then I always own, use my, my car. Okay, that's nice. Uh, could you please tell me about a place where you like to eat out with your family? Uh, I go to uh, I eat out with my family near one restaurant, and I I like a uh, fast food. I like uh, Indian uh, food and some other food. Okay. Do you like to celebrate special occasions when you eat out? Yes. Yes, I like a special celebration. A special moment sometimes is near one uh, riverside area in a small park. Special occasion means special day like birthday parties or anniversaries. Do you like to eat out on special occasions, maybe eat party, anything like it? Do you like to celebrate special occasions when you eat out? No, I don't know. I don't like any special location. Occasion, 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 like eat is special occasion, birthday is special occasion, yeah? Yes, 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 right. So I am asking you, what do you like to do? Uh, do you like to eat out on special occasions? Yeah, yes, I, I eat outside as some special occasion, my birthday and my children birthday. That's why uh, all family with outside and sometime eating. Very good, very nice. Okay. Okay, and lastly, I'd like to ask you about what kind of programs do you like to watch with your family? Uh, I like to watch with my family, like drama serial, uh, some uh, the comedy film, and, uh, and some action movie. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very good. Thank you so much. You have passed part one. Now, 
Now, uh, Ajar, I'm going to practice part two with you, okay? Yes, please. Ajar, the topic, this is a conversation topic just for how many minutes? Two minutes. This is a topic chosen by the examiner and the topic that I have chosen for you is your favorite cafe or restaurant. Would you please tell me something about your favorite cafe or restaurant? Uh, my favorite cafe uh, is a uh, Starbucks and I always uh, go to a Starbucks. Um, it's morning time and um, my favorite restaurant uh, is uh, my city in uh, Chikaros. One restaurant is Chikaros, the Indian restaurant. And uh, here, eating some food is Indian food. I like always Indian food. Hmm. All right. And uh, could you tell me about any restaurants in your neighborhood? Yeah, it's my uh, neighborhood. To one restaurant, it's a uh, Pepe's Piri Piri. How's the food in that restaurant? Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a how how is the food in that restaurant? How is it? Is it tasty, good, cheap, expensive? How's the food in that restaurant? It's a good, it's a good food. It's like a very tasty and uh, not too much expensive. It's a uh, good food. It is affordable. Affordable. Yes, it's affordable. Thank you. Now I want you to ask me two questions about my favorite restaurants. What are uh, your favorite restaurant? More confidence once again. What are your favorite restaurant? If you're asking about one, then you will say, what is your favorite restaurant? Okay. Uh, what, what is your favorite? Uh, well, my favorite restaurant is Barbecue Grill. Oh, it's great. Um, hmm. What like food? Are you asking me what food do I like to eat when I go to the restaurant? Uh, what food do you like to uh, go to the no. restaurant? What, mm -hmm. what do you like? What kind of food do you like to eat there? What kind of food do you like to eat there? Hmm. Well, I like to uh, eat barbecue, chicken, and also beef. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes, Good sir. job. Very nice. Uh, uh, I forgot the name. Ajar. Okay. Ajar, uh, get your notebook and your pen. When I will say take notes, only then you take your notes. When I say don't take notes, then you don't take notes. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ajar, I'm going to play a recording about mangoes. You listen to the recording twice, and then I will ask you six questions about the recording. All right? Okay. ISC 1, Task 1. Morning, everyone. I expect all of you like eating fruit, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fruits, and that's the mango. In some parts of the world, it is even called the king of fruits. It's surprising to know that mango trees can grow up to 40 meters high. I thought they were much shorter. Mangoes take up to six months to become ripe, so be patient. About half of the world's mangoes grow in India, but India exports very few of the world's mangoes. This is because Indian people eat most of their mangoes. I'm not surprised. People say if you give someone a basket of mangoes, it is a sign of friendship. Isn't that nice? Now, let's try some of the delicious mangoes we have here today and see if you like them. Now listen again. Morning, everyone. I expect all of you like eating fruit, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite fruits, and that's the mango. In some parts of the world, it is even called the king of fruits. It's surprising to know that mango trees can grow up to 40 meters high. I thought they were much shorter. Mangoes take up to six months to become ripe, so be patient. About half of the world's mangoes grow in India, but India exports very few of the world's mangoes. This is because Indian people eat most of their mangoes. I'm not surprised. 
People say if you give someone a basket of mangoes, it is a sign of friendship. Isn't that nice? Now let's try some of the delicious mangoes we have here today and see if you like them. Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions about mangoes. Could you tell me what is the mango called in some part of the world? A six month. Mm -hmm. No, what is the mango called in some part of the world? What What is it A called? Thing. It's mm. king, king, king fruits, king fruits. King of fruits, Sorry. yes. And how high can mango trees grow? Is it India is it, um, can you say again, please? How high can mango trees grow? Is it 40 meter? That is correct. How long do mangoes take to become ripe? Six months. That is correct. How many of the world's mangoes grow in India? Uh, how many? Hmm. Sorry, I know I did this. Ruma, would you like to answer how many of the world's mangoes grow in India? Sorry, uh, I I don't follow this uh, listening. Uh, you have to also follow, right? So if he can, uh, he will tell a wrong answer. You can answer. Okay, uh, Ajar. Half of the mangoes. Half. Half, half. Okay, yeah. this one. Okay, Ajay. Why does India export so few of their mangoes? It's a... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't understand. Can you say again, please? Yes. Why does India export so few of their mangoes? No. Uh, I not understand this one. Because Indians eat most of their mangoes. They eat them. That's why they don't export much. They export very little mangoes outside because inside the country, they use a lot of mangoes. Okay, my last question to you is, what does it mean if you give someone a basket of mangoes? I said mo most people what does it mean if you give someone a basket of mangoes? Or oh, some uh, give some packets. It's a box. It's a sign of friendship. When you give oh. or gift mangoes to someone, it's a sign. Okay, okay, okay. But you have passed. Okay, you just need three answers correct in this part. You gave me the king of fruits correct, forty meters correct, and. Six months, correct. But you need to work a little bit harder to make sure that you pass this. Okay? Right, we're going to move to part two. This is called the second part of listening. Uh, Ajar, yeah. I'm going to play a recording about tigers. Okay. okay. You listen to the recording, but do not take notes. No, no notes. Okay. But you listen and you tell me in few words what is this recording about. Let's listen. ISE 1, Task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. 
you can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. On today's program. All right, could you tell me in few words what is this recording about? Uh, it, it's tell me that uh, tiger is a very dangerous dangerous animal and he is the long of three meter i regularly he eating a three kilo five kilo five kilo food and he eating mm, Mm -hmm. No, I think I not catch this one properly. So you just have to tell in few words. You can write in two. You can just tell two lines that this recording is about tigers, what they eat, and how they live. Full stop. That's all. But this this part two is uh, one time playing. Yes. No, just, just examiner says tell me in few words. Do you know the meaning of few words? Few means some words. What is this recording about? So you tell in one sentence that this recording is about tigers, their food, and where they live. Full stop. That's all. Okay, okay, that's fine. I... See, this is called the second part of listening. And in this part, examiner first says, do not take notes. I will play a recording and tell me in few words. Few means very few words, means some words. The main idea. You don't have to tell everything. You just have to tell the main idea, even if you will say this recording is about tiger, examiner will say, okay, fine, right? Then examiner will say, I'm going to play the recording once again. Please listen to the recording and write down six important facts from the recording. Then I will ask you to tell me those facts. You're, you're allowed to take notes. Okay, now I will okay. repeat the same recording and you will take your notes. Okay. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures, and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Yes, please tell me six facts from the recording. Okay, please. Six fact. And one fact is that the tiger is a uh, heavy tiger is a heavy, heavy dangerous animal and tiger is a tiger is 363 kilogram and uh, it's long to heart and uh, third is he six time uh, eat um, and a uh, five kilogram eat at a five, five time and and if, uh, three kilometer away he's seen. Hmm. Okay, let me guide you something about how to take notes. Uh, for example, we have this information in here about tigers. Uh, and we can, you can say, for example, you can say most beautiful on earth. Heavy animal. Tiger is a heavy animal. Weight is yes. 363 kilometers kilograms and yes. uh very large tail one meter yes. long uh hunt alone uh see. in the dark and can see very well 
Um, better than, okay, tigers eat five kilograms meat in one meal, not five times, okay? In one meal, okay. they just eat five grams and uh, five kilograms and um, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt. Hmm, tigers are good swimmers, okay? Well, this is what makes them different, like they are good swimmers. Uh, and they are different from each other because their stripes are different. Stripes pattern are different from each other. And tigers can make very loud noise. Uh, so you write down little, little facts. Loud noise, one meter tail, 363 kg weight, right? Can see in the dark, uh, can also, you know, hide the food with dirt and leaves. Okay? Okay. Try, like to hunt alone. Uh, now I'll ask you some follow up questions. My uh, first question examiner asks you three to four questions. All right. I will also yes. ask you. So, my question to you is how can you identify a tiger? Because it's very uh, uh, heavy animal. Mm -hmm. No, you can identify uh, a tiger through the stripes because every tiger has different stripes. Stripes means lines like black and uh, orange lines. These are called stripes. Okay, okay. How far away can you hear a tiger's roar? What the mean to straw? Can I uh, repeat again? How far away can you hear a tiger's roar? Uh, it's six. No, it's a three kilometer away. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. How are tigers different from other cats? Because uh, tiger is a body shape is different. Because the tiger's sound is different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job. Right. Yeah, what time of the day do tigers hunt? Six time. No, no, no. What time of the day do they hunt? Uh, morning, evening, afternoon, night. What time of the day do tigers hunt? Hunts. I, I not understand. Duck. What the means hunt? Hunt means finding food. Oh, okay. So it's morning time. No, they hunt in the dark. It was hunt in the dark. Mm. Okay. Thank you. This is the end of part two. Congratulations. You did a good job. It was your first try, but I think you've done a good job. But do you understand? This is complete speaking and listening. Any confusion? Okay. Any confusion? Yeah, confusion, like some, some confusion is in part two is speaking. Listening, some, I not understand part two properly. See, part two, first thing, let me explain to you. Uh, look, this is part two. So first examiner says, you read this. Read it. Uh, I say you're going. Hmm. Uh, you are going to hear a short talk about NML. Uh, you will hear uh, the talk tweet and uh, the first time uh, just uh, listen then i ask you to tell me a few words what the speaker is talking about are you ready yes i'm ready and he took me now he first play then i he asked me some few words example you, um, tiger is big and tiger is tiger is a heavy animal and tiger is eating uh, 
five kg of food and that's right and you talk will play once and now tell me a few words of what uh, that talk is about and keep them the blank note paper for well, second uh, secondly he play he told a uh, note something and he play again and sequence okay now i understand yes 